what is coming through loud and clear this morning is this city region needs to set a new ambition for cycling, for cycling infrastructure, for active travel, as Chris put it. Uh, and, you know, we will take that away from today and try and um, make it real for you. What, what I would like to do, I think I said this at the beginning, is develop a kind of a world leading cycle network infrastructure, uh, you know, that learns from where, what other cities have done. You know, London's got a lot right, but it's not got everything right. And, you know, we heard an example from Seville, I think, was given in one of the, um, the breakout rooms. There's other cities that have done other things too. Um, you know, there's the, you, you, sorry, but you're going to get, Burnham bikes, you know, do we have the old, uh, you know, uh, Morris bike reinvented for Manchester in the, uh, in, 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 yeah, <laughs> okay, I'll do, I'll do. Um, I am going to do this. So we are going to put cycling up to the top of the agenda. You know, the Seville example was, it was given, Seville did it very specifically linked to congestion. And I think we probably need to think of it in the same way, given, as I said at the beginning, the nature of our streets and our roads right now. So it is going to happen. What I would like to offer you all today, particularly those today who've come, you know, with that focus on cycling, is a separate, if you like, a breakout event that just focuses on how you build the perfect cycle network. Okay, I say perfect because we, we haven't got money growing on, on trees, but there is the potential to, to raise money from different places and look at the health budget and other things. So th there is a possibility here. What I'm going to suggest is, and Mike, you all know Mike, uh, Councillor Mike Amesbury, who's obviously leading on all this side of stuff with the campaign in terms of working with stakeholder groups, is Mike, we, we, we facilitate um, a, another event, not necessarily I'll be there, where people can really get into the detail of what they think will work, what won't work, how you would like to see this thing designed, looking at specific parts of the city region that actually have the best infrastructure at the moment. A couple of examples were given, I think um, parts of South Manchester have yeah. got some very good facilities, it's how do you take them everywhere. Uh, somebody may not be known to you, but somebody called Dom Goggins, um, son of the late Paul Goggins, mm. uh, has been commissioned by British Cycling, obviously who are headquartered here, to look at a new cycle infrastructure for Greater Manchester. Interestingly, their new sponsor, I'm told HSBC, are interested in, look, whereas the old sponsor of British Cycling was very focused on uh, the elite end of cycling, mm -hmm. Team Sky, mm -hmm. the new one is coming at it the other way. Good. So there's potential there in terms of funds and, you know, uh, and profile. So the time is absolutely right to do this, and I would want to involve Dom in that, because he's 